Hello, my most amazing artists. We are gonna read a book today called The Little Red Pen. It is one of my favorite books because it is one of my first lessons I've taught being an art teacher. So let's get started. It gets a little silly. Here we go. The Little Red Pen. Whoa. <gasps> let's get to work. He has a lot of papers to grade, hmm. The little pet red pen whirled about, checking, circling, and marking out. Scritch, scratch, 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 scratch. <gasps> oh no, she's at it again. Don't move. Shh, I'm not helping anymore. Yeah, too risky. Silencio. I wonder who's in the drawer who's saying all of that. There's too much to do. Where are my helpers? Staplers, scissors, pencil, eraser, pushpin, highlighter? Are you hiding in the drawer? Get up here now. If the papers aren't graded, the students won't learn. The school might close. The walls might tumble. The floors might crumble. The sky might fall. It might be the end of the world. Who will help me save the world? Not I, not I, not I. <gasps> what? Hmm. Yo, no, not I. <gasps> but why not? Why do you think they won't help him grade all those papers? It's not very kind, hmm. Stapler says, my back is killing me. Everybody keeps pounding on it. I could break. Pencil says, I write all day. And what do I get? Sharpened down to a nub. Who needs a nub? Pushpin says, don't call me Pushpin. My name is Senorita Chinchetta and I am La Ultima Chinchetta. If I get lost, no more Chinchettas, comprende? Huh? Scissors, I've been cutting up all day. I'm getting dull. Not good for a sharp guy like me. Eraser says, what was the question? I forget everything. My head is shrinking. <laughs> That's Mr. Cora's favorite character is the eraser. Highlighter says, I'm bright, not crazy. Remember Mr. Felt tip marker? His cap was left off and you know where he ended up? Where do you think he ended up? Stay on mute though. Good job, friends. He ended up in the, the pit of no return. Everyone cried the trash. Rubbish. The little red pen frowned. Huh. You can't spend your life hiding, worrying about the pit. There's work to be done and I need your help. Well, Scissors says. Well, big bossy ball point. Why don't you ask Tank? He'd be a huge help. Tank? That lazy hamster? Never, said the little red pen. The papers must be graded. I guess I'll have to do it myself. And so little red pen did. Well, she tried. Do you think she gets some grade at all? Let's see. Scratch, 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 scratch. The little red pen worked long into the night. In the wee hours of the morning, she could barely move across the page. She wibbled, she wobbled. Then she fell over, exhausted. The little red pen began to roll, roll right to the edge of the desk and <gasps> clunk. Uh-oh. What was that? Stapler yelled. The sky is falling, Pencil cried. It's the end of the world. Highlighter said, no, it's not. It's probably Tank moving around in his cage. Scissors rolled his eyes. No way, big boy never moves. It is the end, said Pencil. I heard Pen say it. What are we going to do? We're going up, snipped Scissors. Get the lead out, Stubby. 
Yeah, said Eraser. Let's go. Go. Uh, where are we going? I forgot. <laughs> to the desktop, Chinchetta shouted. Vamanos, Arriba, Arriba. <gasps> wow. I caramba muchos papers. Pen's gone, cried Pencil. And the papers aren't finished. The students won't learn. It is the end of the world. It is not the end of the world, said Stapler. How do we know for sure, said Highlighter. The papers have always been graded. Who knows what will happen if they're not? <gasps> Eraser says, I know. What? They all looked at him. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Scissors shook his head. <sighs> The end of the world could be worse than the pit. The papers must be graded. We'll have to do it ourselves. And so they did. Well, they tried. Do you think they'll get them graded? Hmm. Scissors grabbed a paper. No capital letter. Clip. Dot that I. Snip. Not like that, Stapler groaned. You cut it to shreds. Let me do it. Eraser. Hop on. I see a misspelled word. Bam. This sentence needs a verb. Bam. This whole paragraph is wrong. Bam, 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 bam. <sighs> Not like that, said Highlighter. Too many staples. Let me do it. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <sighs> Not like that, er Eraser squinted. Too bright. Let me do it. Ribbity rub, smidgety smudge. Not like that, numbskull, said Scissors. You erased everything, even the student's name. Whose paper is this? Uh, I forgot, moaned Eraser. <laughs> oh, Eraser. This is terrible. A catastrophe. Que diastre. Awful. What now? Oh, Pencil. It's the end of the world. Who will help us save the world? I will. <gasps> Who said that? Who said I will? Hmm. <gasps> they rushed to the edge of the desk. Oh no, whispered Eraser. Pen is in the, the. El Pozo de No Returno, shouted Chinchetta. Pencil broke down. <sighs> he started crying. What are we going to do? We need her if the papers aren't granted. The students won't learn that they... Oh, stop it already, Stapler grumbled. I hate to be blunt, said Scissors, but she's a goner. No one comes back from the pit. Not so fast. I have a bright idea, said Highlighter. Paper clip box, where are you? Give me your clips. Mm -mm, can't have them. Box scowled. Without my clips, I'm empty, useless. I'll dump in the, the, out with the clips, yelled Highlighter. We need a chain. So one by one, the paper clips marched out and hooked together. I know what to do. Eraser grabbed the chain and raced across the desktop. Then, oh, he forgot to stop. Bounced off the edge and clunk. Hey, everybody, Eraser said. Guess who's down here in the pit? The little red, uh, what's her face? We know, Rubber Noggin. Now you're both in the pit, said Scissors. So Eraser's, Eraser and Little Red Pen are in the pit of no return. Highlighter said, I have another bright idea. Eraser, grab the Little Red Pen. We'll pull you both up. Ready, everybody? Scissors said, she's pushing. Well, I'm a push pin. We have to pull, not push. How about I push you all into the pit? Enough, let's pull. One, two, three. Arr. Do you think they do it? Do you think they do it? Too heavy. Scissors panted. Any more bright ideas? Yes, cried Highlighter. The hamster wheel. We'll hook the chain to the wheel, then Tank will run. The wheel will turn. The chain will... Whoa, scissors cut in. Tanky boy hasn't been on the wheel in years. Besides, how are we going to get from here over to there? Ruler can be our bridge, declared Highlighter. 
What? Me? A bridge? Ruler snapped. I'm not budging an inch. Move it, yelled Highlighter. Oh, all right. Ruler stretched out farther. Farther. One more inch. Half an inch. Clunk! Oh, great. Three are in the pit now. Ruler, red, little red pen, and eraser. Need some help? <gasps> Yardstick? I thought you were broken and down in the... The pit? said Yardstick. Nobody throws me in the pit. I may be shorter now, but I'm tall enough to hold up this plant and long enough to be your bridge. Yardstick stretched out farther, farther, one more inch, half an inch. <gasps> he made it. Everyone dashed across, but Pencil, oh, he froze. I, uh, I'm afraid. Oh, come on, Pencil, you can do it, said Stapler. Don't look down. <gasps> sharpener peeked out from under a pile of papers hmm i'll help you <gasps> ah! pencil took one look at sharpener and bolted across why do you think pencil was afraid of the sharpener he's already a tiny little nub they opened the cage door and crept inside highlighter hooked the paper clip chain to the wheel okay grab tank we're hauling him over oh, he's fast asleep He's snoring. Hamster grande, Chinchetta groaned. Moy grande. They huffed and puffed until finally they pulled Tank onto the wheel. Highlighter took a deep breath. Wake up, Tank, run! Snort, still sleeping. Chinchetta smiled. I can wake him up. What do you think Pushpin is going to do to the sleeping hamster tank? Oh, man. Oh, man. Poke. Roar! Tankzilla! Pencil shrieked. It's the end of the world. Run. He's after us. I'm running in circles. Where's Tank? Who knows? Just keep going. Hey, wait. The wheel is turning. They're turning the wheel. Great. Uh oh. Around and around, faster and faster, the wheel turned, the chain moved up, up, up. Up came ruler, up came eraser, up came the little red pen, and up came long lost Mr. Felt Tip Marker. Wow, they got four out of the pit. It worked! shouted Highlighter, and we did it all by ourselves. Chinchetta clapped. Bravo. Did we save the world? asked Pencil. The little red pen beamed. You saved us, but now, now, said Eraser, we have a job to finish. <gasps> you didn't forget, everyone yelled. Let's get to work. They gotta grade those papers still. And so they did. They checked and stapled and organized and alphabetized, piled and filed without another thought of running low, becoming dull, drying up, getting lost, breaking down, or landing in the pit until the job was done. The world was safe, and no one hid in the drawer ever again. <gasps> oh, except you know who. Tank. Tankzilla. The end. All right, my friends, this is your job. This is your job for art this week. You don't have much time for class, so I want to get to shares and questions right away. So I want you friends to find a red pen or a red marker or a red crayon or a red color pencil, any red mat coloring material you have, and of course a piece of paper. And you get to draw whatever you would like to draw, whatever you would like to draw, but you gotta use something red. Hmm, maybe you can find a red pen, just like the little red pen, okay? That is your job. Awesome. Thank you, friends, for staying on mute and have a wonderful day.